I was not in a good place the last couple of years simply because my body was not giving it back to me. So it doesn't really matter how motivated I was to work out. That wasn't fixing my problem by any means. And I feel like ever since he's been here, it's taken my mind off of some of these things that would get in the way of me before, you know, and um, I kind of wake up every single day and, and you know, I do my things, but what, one thing I look forward to the most is hanging out with him and just seeing him grow. And of course, also with my wife, like it, us as a team, everywhere we go or whatever we do, we do things together. And um, that's what I mean by it's just made everything so much better because I, I enjoy things a lot more. I feel like I've matured a lot and um, it takes me away from the daily grind a little bit, which is exactly what I needed. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boy. It's a boy. Baby, you're gonna get a brother. Now I'm a young. Last time that you and I did this, we had just, we were just about to walk down the aisle. You know, I think at first I was overwhelmed with just stressing out because I didn't want to add that added pressure of we're bringing a baby, you know, and it's like the stakes are high when you're in someone like Ken's position and, you know, what, what we bring with us, you know, we've always done this together and so, of course, I was stressed out because I'm like, I don't want to impede on the team and I don't want to cause any kind of distraction. I was on court's page where when we got pregnant we, we sat the team down actually and be like hey don't worry like nothing will change you know what I mean but in the end it's changed for the better. Uh, I, I needed a change in my life and uh, my program which is what we have done and Griffin have just has just made it so much sweeter and uh, me caring about something different than just racing has really I feel like elevated my game and if anything he makes it so much sweeter on the weekends just because whether I ride good or not he doesn't care I come back to the to the same Griffey man then before the race and it just helped my outlook on things and appreciate family a lot more than what I even did before so if anything throughout the season it's helped me elevate my game and I wouldn't, I wouldn't change a thing. It's awesome. I find comfort in Griffin being with me, but it's still that, that sense of business as usual. You know, if he's there with me, if he's in the stroller or whatever, it's just, you know, Griff and I are there as a supporting team. And that is just, I mean, now it's not handing off water bottles and, you know, wiping Ken's face. All we can offer now is just love and, and hand claps at the end, you know? And um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it does, it brings me a lot of comfort to know that we're there when Ken comes off the track, win or, or lose, it's like, we're still winning because we have, we have us. If you were to ask them, I think this was probably the best thing that could have happened because I know that they, they see of the steps that I've made forward compared to even the last few years, simply by, um, you know, having an addition to the family. And it is basically, I feel like we kept our word with like, hey, everything will be fine and if anything I feel like I'm better now so the team loves him and you know I, I sit him on the bike even though I've always said oh I don't know if he's gonna be a motocross racer simply because I want to tap into some different sports and uh, but at the same time how can you not share something that you have done 98% of your life and you know I'd be lying if, if I don't get these happy feelings when I sit him on my bike and he starts like uh, his hands on the handlebar and uh, Oh, it's just, it's amazing. It's exactly what I needed, even in between practices, you know, whether there's changing a diaper or, or holding him for a little bit or feeding him, it kind of takes me away from 
this craziness of lap times and sections and, and you know you're slower there, faster there. Sometimes I don't I don't care about any of that because when your mind is free and clear like that, that's when you ride the best and it's been a blast so far. Yeah, if I could take him on longboards, and especially with Cord, she hasn't really been like she wake surfs all the time, but she never ever comes into the ocean, so I think that's something we can both share and hopefully she finds a love for it as well just because it is so different. I just feel like it is healing out in the ocean and I love the lifestyle of, uh, of the ocean and, and, and the vibe that it gets me. So I was hoping that you know once I'm retired we can share that a lot more, especially since it's so easy to access for us living pretty much right on the beach. But of course I want him to learn how to ride a dirt bike and uh, I shouldn't say I fear the time where he's going to be like, hey dad I want to go ride, I want to go ride because I'll be proud, but in general, whatever he chooses to do is the route that we're going to go, obviously. But um, yeah, surfing is definitely easier access for us. We started this together. We're going to, you know, keep growing our team, our family. And, you know, when that day comes, we're going to be able to say, you know, we finished this together. You know, Griffin has been there. Hey, he's, he's been there through the wins, through the losses, through the ups, through the downs. And if anything, you know, how lucky are we that we have the photos and the videos to be able to share with him? Because when that day does come, who knows if Griffin's even gonna be able to remember this. So at least we're able to keep him involved to the point where in the future, he'll be able to enjoy it, you know, and we're just creating those memories.